I'm Alex Paul, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Um, wristwatch check today. I'm wearing my Rolex Air King, the uh, new version with the sports case and the 05 and instead of the 5 at the 5 um, minutes. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a fake Rolex. This is a, a fake Rolex Sky Dweller. I do not endorse fakes as many people know. I am totally against fakes. I think fakes are a lie. I believe that uh, you're not just deceiving yourself because the first person you're lying to is yourself. Um, you're also lying to other people and you're counting on their ignorance because this is a good fake. But if you know what you're looking at, you, you might have some self doubts about wanting to wear it. Um, a cosmetic fake is not going to embarrass you on the street, but I mean, it's not a real watch. It's not the watch that it's pretending to be. It didn't earn the name that's printed on it. Um, and this fake is a fake of the most complex Rolex <laughs> that they make. It's the most complicated. It's an annual calendar GMT and uh, has an, a, a very, very novel and unique uh, bezel control mechanism to enable you to operate the uh, GMT and annual calendar functionality from the crown without any hidden pushers. Um, that's a lot of complication to put into a movement and uh, not quite. I'll show you exactly how when we do the close up when we turn the camera around. Now I have, I know there are gonna be people saying, well, you know, there are better fakes out there and all, and there probably are. I've seen videos of uh, fake perpetual calendar protect Philippe's that have movements that are almost as good as the uh, real one. And this one, this is a 600 uh, euro fake. This is this was not a cheap fake. This fake cost the owner uh, 600 bucks. And um, I was going to buy it, but uh, he knew that if I did buy it from him, not only would I shoot the episode, I would destroy it because I don't like these. Um, but he did allow me to make the episode to point out how not real this watch is like i said it is a good fake and um there are people like i said who would say oh you know super clone uh super 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 clone and frankly i deal with a lot of watches and i know a lot of people um who deal in watches and it's as hard to get those as it is to get the real watch um i haven't seen one in the flesh on a rolex i have seen like i said in some of the other uh brands but um haven't seen a functional fake Sky Dweller yet. This is a GMT, so it's a high function fake, but it ain't real. So let's turn the camera around and take a look at this fake Rolex. Here we are with the fake Rolex. Um, I know that there are going to be people who are saying, well, you know, you criticize this one, but it's not that good a fake. Actually, this is a very good fake. The person who uh, bought this watch, I believed them when they told me they paid over 600 euros for this piece because it does look good. I mean, for a fake, it looks great. The text is great. The printing is even. The numbers look good. The finish looks good. Um... The case has a nice crisp edge feel to it. Um, even the crown unscrews reasonably smoothly. Um, as far as fakes go, this is a good fake. The GMT is even functional. Now, as I was saying, it's easy to fake the watch, but it's hard to fake the functionality even though this is a GMT, this is an office GMT, a caller GMT. The real Sky Dweller is a travel GMT. This is not a travel GMT. Um, just like any other office GMT, you roll it in one direction, whoops. Just like any um, travel GMT, you roll it in one direction and the GMT time changes and you roll it in the other direction and the date changes. So this is actually a high functionality fake, but it's still a fake. Um, two things, they forget that, well, I shouldn't say they forget. People forget that the, the Rolex Sky Dweller is the most complex watch in Rolex inventory because it is not just a GMT, it is also an annual calendar. 
And it can all be controlled from the crown because of the bezel uh, control switch. Now, this one does have a rotating bezel, but it doesn't do anything. And the annual calendar doesn't work. This watch will always tell you it's August. They should have been smart and put the month uh, pip on the ring so then the ring would turn and you could always set the month. But now, if anybody who knows a Sky Dweller sees you wearing this and it's not August, <laughs> it was suspicious uh, behavior, let's put it that way. I wouldn't immediately say it's fake, but I would uh, be doubtful of either the owner's intelligence in setting it properly, like having the zeros flash constantly on your microwave, um, or it's a fake. And it's, like I said, again, it's not a bad fake. It's made reasonably well. Uh, this part of the buckle is interesting. It does have the lever buckle, but uh, there's no spring in it. Now, it could be because the spring is broken, overuse or whatever, but that would just show then how hard it is to make that level of quality in a real Rolex. Um, machined, engraved, the links don't feel bad. This is a good fake. It's not even running badly on the time grapher. I mean, uh, <laughs> you'd almost think it's a real watch. Um, I mean, it is a real watch in the sense that it is functional, but um, it's some kind of Frankenstein. They put somebody else's movement in this thing and are pretending that it is a Rolex, but it is a fake Rolex. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Let's take a look at the movement. It's actually a very clean movement. And um, to the untrained eye, you might think, hey, Maybe this is a Rolex, because they're not known for their decorated movements. But this movement isn't decorated at all compared. Uh, Rolex does decorate theirs to at least a small degree. This has no decoration. And also, it is not a full bridge movement, right? There should be an arm going all the way across, not just a single um, balance cock arm. It should be a full bridge. And uh, this has two control arms, so you know that it's not a free sprung balance. Um, they did color the uh, rotor, I mean not the rotor, the uh, case here for the, sp the spring. They did coat it uh, with the purple uh, material. It's probably not the anti-slip material Rolex uses. But um, this is a high function fake. This is, it, it uh, is a functional GMT. The movement looks actually really clean. It ran well on the time grapher. Too bad it's in a fake watch. Now... The other aspect of it is this one does not have a sapphire crystal, right? No sapphire. As a test, here's my Air King, and there we go, sapphire crystal. Also the uh, case, the Air King's case does feel sharper, cleaner. You can, this is, this one feels reasonably well machined, but if you had a real Rolex in your hand and this, you would be able to feel that there's something fishy about this watch. So between the lack of proper functionality, um, well, you can't test the crystal on the fly, but the fact that it is just trying really hard and failing to be the watch it's pretending to be, um, yeah, cosmetically, you're okay. Barely. Uh, like I said, as long as it's August. But in reality, like I said, it is a fake. And a fake is a lie. And the first person that you're lying to is yourself. So that was a close-up, inside, hands-on look, showing you that, you know, yeah, it's maybe a good fake, but it's still a fake. It's not the real watch. And as I keep coming back to, it didn't earn the name that is printed on it. I'd like to know your thoughts, though, and I'll answer any questions or comments that you make in the comments as long as they're respectful. Have a great day. Please tell your friends if you like the content. Please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.